Hello again everyone and welcome back along to the channel, your home of Lions Tour to New Zealand 2017. We got some more Lions Tour content coming your way here today. We've talked a lot about the Lions squad, the Lions fixtures list, but very little about what's coming up from the All Blacks. So today we're going to be having a look at my predicted All Blacks team that is named on June the 8th. We are currently sitting at the second, so we're about a week away at the time of recording this from the All Black squad being named. So I'm going to go through my squad of 33 players that I think are going to be named for that test match. Number one, of course, and my starting 15 as well for that game. So without further ado, let's get things kicked off. Of course, if you're loving the Lions Tour, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to put that little notification bell on so you can get all the videos straight to you as well. And of course, if you're enjoying this Lions content, hit that thumbs up as well. Very much appreciated as always. So let's dig straight into it. 33 men in black jerseys. Who's going to be in it? Who's going to be unlucky to miss out? I'll tell you. Let's get started. It's prop time. It's the big boys time. It is props times five that I am picking for my All Blacks squad against the island. So five props. Owen Franks, Joe Moody, Wyatt Crockett, Charlie Farmawina, and possibly the biggest bolter. And there's no offer to Angafasi in my squad. I've gone for Nipo La Lala. Now, he was much favoured in All Blacks squads not so long ago before a huge injury set him back a whole season. Off of Tuanga Fasi, they do like him as well, but it's a toss-up, I think, between Tuanga Fasi and Farmawina. I'm going for Farmawina despite the fact he's leaving, and you may notice a bit of a trend with the rest of my squad for players leaving, not making this team. But it's pretty clear to see. Franks, Moody are going to be your starters. Crockett, Farmawina off the bench. We may see a little bit of bench time in Test 3 for La 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 if it is 2-0. But I think get him back in that atmosphere. He's played all right for the Chiefs this year as well. He's been on the game. He's been uh, injury-free for the most part. So he's back in my All Black squad for my five props. I'm going to be going for three hookers to join them as well. Dane Coles, he's on the injury kind of feathering sideline, isn't he? He may be in, he may be out. I'm naming him in the team alongside Cody Taylor and Nathan Harris. Others to miss out, Hicker Elliott and James Parsons. And Ben Fennell is another one who is unlucky to miss out as well. But I think those three are going to be your core three. I'd probably go with Elliott if I had to, if Coles wasn't fit. But Taylor and Harris would this definitely be my two and three behind Coles. No Coles, Taylor starts, Harris on the bench. Three very similar players. I think Coles, Taylor and Harris... Good runners of the ball around the field and pretty decent when it comes to set-piece time. But Dane Cole is going to be crucial. He's got to be fit for those tests. He may miss test number one, but uh, Taylor and Harris should fill the void quite nicely. And, of course, that is my starting lineup as well. Coles, then Taylor off the bench. Mix them up if Coles isn't fit. Uh, locks, I'm going for just four locks in my squad. I'm going for Sam Whitelock, Brody Retallick, Scott Barrett, and Luke Romano. A lot of talk about uh, the squad saying that they'll only pick three locks and they'll go with a back row that can cover lock. I've gone the other way. I've gone for a lock that can cover the back row in Scott Barrett. Missing out, could you say, contentiously, Tui Pulotu missing out from the Blues. Injuries come back. He's been okay, but I don't think he fits into this small squad. And Dominic Burrow, the other, who is definitely at that level, but just misses out due to the sheer lack of numbers available. Of course, it's a no-brainer that Whitelock and Retallick will be starting the match up with the likes of a Barrett off the bench. They can cover the second row and the back row if required. And Romano there for good backup as well. Plenty in the reserves if someone gets injured. Those other two guys I talked about, Tui Pelotu, probably the first one, can come into that squad. Right, back row. This one was tough because there's a lot of good back rowers in this team. I've picked six. Six back rowers for my All Black side. Of course, Captain Kieran Reid, my starting number eight. Sam Kane, my starting number seven. And Jerome Kaino, my starting number six. Off the bench, I've got two sevens who can cover the bench in the stands, which is Artie Savia and Matt Todd. And of course, I do have a number six cover in there as well, which would be Liam Squire, who would probably cover the bench or would see the likes of Barrett cover the bench as well with Kaino being out of, with injury recently as well and just coming back. So we may not see a full display from the likes of a Kaino straight away, but Squire and Barrett can cover that if necessary. But Artie Savier is your bench impact at seven. 
he will come on for Kane around the 60 minute mark when required. Missing out, Stephen Luatua. This is the first one I've, I talked about earlier with players missing out due to going overseas. He's away at the end of the season. He's been pretty good for the Blues. Otherwise, probably would have made my team in the place of Squire, but I like to nurture talent that is here and going to stay here as well. Elliot Dixon, the other one, would have been in there if there was another position available for the back row, but I think six is enough. Dixon first cab off the rank if a blind side slash number eight is required. We have three sevens or open siders in there, so we don't need any cover from, you know, out of the squad on those three guys. When you've got Kane, uh, Todd, and Salvia, I think even if Kane, Kane got injured, you'd still start Todd, and you'd still have Salvia with that impact off the bench. Right, that is my um, forward pack. Now, I've gone a bit odd. I've gone 18 forwards, and then in my back line, I've gone with 15 backs. Now, again, a lot of talk coming about a 1914. I've gone 18 15. Whatever. It's my team. I'll do what I like because I have three scrum halves, as every All Black squad normally does, but I'm going away from the usual here. Aaron Smith, TJ Piranara, yeah. But again, players going overseas. I don't need you. I don't need you in my team. I'm picking Augustine Pulu from the Blues. Pulu's in my team to Eric Caraballo. Have a good time overseas, mate, because your choice, you've gone, and you're not in my team. So that's my three scrum half. Smith, the starter, Piranara off the bench, and possibly Pulu getting a chance off the bench later on in the series. Who knows what's going to happen? But those are my three scrum halves for the team. Fly halves, um, I've only picked two. And for reasons you'll probably see later on as well, I've just picked Bowden Barrett and Lima Sopawanga. They are my only two fly halves in the squad. That means no Cruden and what could have been a fringe pick is Richie Moanga as well. Doesn't make the team. So Barrett will be my starter. Sopawanga requirements off the bench if needed. Of course, any injuries happen. Aaron Cruden is just a phone call away as well. But those are my two. I think you've got to you, you've got to make the squad work. But I do have cover later on in the team, as you'll see and probably understand why I've gone with just the two to fit other players in there. Now the centres. This has been easily the most contentious part of the squad. I've gone with four centres. Now Ryan Crotty, Malachi Fikitoa, Sonny Bill Williams, and Anton Leonard Brown. Now, this is a very contentious part because I've got a long list of names here who I was considering putting in the team. Now, let's go through them. So, I'll pick those four. Those four are in my team. But unlucky, probably my number one unlucky would be Seta Tamani Valu and Rico Yuani. Those two are the two that are unlucky to miss out. George Moala, he's my number three unlucky to miss out. I'm not a big fan of George Moala. Good attacking, but a little weak defensively, which I find... We just cannot afford to have a weak link in defense, even if we get that extra attack from Moala. I like the safety of a Crotty and an Anton and a Brown, and we've got that extra attack from a Fikitoa, who's very good defensively, and of course we all know what Sonny Bill Williams does as well. So that's why I've left those two out, and of course the name you're all probably screaming right now, uh, La Mape and Asso. Those two guys, end of year tour, if you play the rest of Super Rugby like you have, then you're on my end of your tour squad. That's cool. That's fine. I'll take you to the Northern Hemisphere and we'll go play uh, Scotland and whoever the hell else we're playing over there. No worries. Sweet. That's good. But not for the Lions. Not yet. Too soon. We have too many established players at that level. My starters will be Crotty, definitely, and a toss-up between Fikitoa and Anton Leonard Brown for that other spot. Sonny Bill, he's also a toss-up in there as well, but I like definitely Crotty. He's safe. He does nothing wrong, he attacks, he passes the ball, there's nothing silly about him, he just consistently plays well, and that's what we need. Those other three will fight out the other centre spot, and those other guys, unlucky. Wait for the end of your tour, bigger squad, you'll be there for sure, especially those two Hurricanes guys, if they keep their form up for the rest of the year. Now the outside backs, I've gone with six players there, six guys in that squad. Now, names you'll probably expect, Ben Smith, Israel Dag, Julian Savia, Waisaki Naholo. There are four of them. They name themselves really easily. They name themselves. We've got two spots left. These guys might not end up on the actual tour squad, but again, this is my team, and I will put whoever the hell I want in there. Jordy Barrett and Damian McKenzie. It's all about youth. And these guys, they have so much talent. Will they play? Maybe not. But I want them in this team because they are the future. 
Those two guys, I mean, there's a reason Jordy Barrett wasn't in that under-20 team. It's because old Stevie Hansen went, hey, I want, I want Jordy. Don't pick him in the under-20s team. There's a reason why he's not in the under-20s team. If he wasn't going to be in the All Blacks, he'll be overplaying in the under-20s World Cup right now. You can guarantee it. He is easily the best under-20s player in the world right now. He would be there. He's not there. So he's in my team. He probably won't make the field, but he's in the team. He is in there, and in the future, he is going to be a starter, no question about it. Damien McKenzie, we've seen him all for two years now. We know what he can do. He's my 10 cover as well. If the shit really hits the fan and it flies up and spatters everywhere, and we lose both Barrett and Sopawanga, then we'll just pick, put Damien McKenzie in there. It's probably the 70th minute. He can do it. He can cover it. He's fine. It's his natural position for, for the first thing anyway. But he's my number three cover. Probably won't need him. And of course, there's Geordie Barrett in there as well, who can play pretty much anywhere in the whole damn back line. So there's plenty of cover. You've also got um, Bone and Barrett who can cover fullback. You've got Smith and Dagger who can cover the wings. Um, you've got McKenzie and Barrett who can cover the wings as well if necessary. You could chuck Sonny Bill on the wings. Pick a can go on the damn wings. The back line is very versatile. And if required, they can shift around everywhere. Unlucky to miss out, and I think it's just due to him coming back this weekend, is Nehe Milner Scudder. I would love to have him in, this, in the team. I really would want to have three specialist wingers in that team, slash fullbacks, um, but he's just not fit. One match is not enough to hit the Lions. He may make the team and play later on. We know he's good enough, but I just don't want to throw him in there with only one match under his belt. If something goes pear-shaped and say Naholo gets injured again and has to go get magic leaves pulled over his body, then we'll pick Nehe up and say, come on, buddy, play 40. Come on in the 60th. Make something happen for us. That is what I'd do. But for this initial squad, I would leave him out. If they're going to name cover as part of a training cover players, he'll be in there for sure. Um, with the likes of Rico Iwani, uh, Tamani Valu, Tuipulotu Dixon, and the likes of that. But for this initial squad, 33 players, those are the names I'm going for. My starting 15, well, it's very simple, isn't it? It is very, very simple. Moody and Franks will be the props. Then we've got Coles, bracketed with Taylor. Um based on injury. Our second row, Whitelock and Retallick. There's no question marks there. Kaino Kane and Reed, 6, 7, 8. Aaron Smith, Bone and Barrett in the halves. The centers, that is probably the one I'm not 100% sure of. Crotty and I'll probably say Fikatoa, Sonny Bill Williams or Anton Leonard Brown. I can't pick him. Fikatoa, probably by a whisker, just because of defense. He's very good defensively and he does make mistakes but I just want defense in my centers. That's what I want. And that's why I think the centers are going to be the most competitive area of the field. So that is that is a bit of a cautious pick for mine. But I'll definitely have Sonny Bill or Anton Leonard Brown on the bench to come on for Fikatoa if things do go pear-shaped. Outside backs, uh, Savia on one wing, Naholo slash Dag on the other. Fitness again will come into play with that. Israel Dag. Hasn't been fully fit, but again, bench cover. Who do you fit? You've only got three um, back players. You know, you've got a fly half and the center along with a, a scrum half as well. So you've got to really pick someone who can cover everything. And that's where her likes of a McKenzie or a Barrett come into it. But Ben Smith's your fullback. No questions about that. And the bench is probably going to be your most hotly contested spot. Especially that winger. Do we go Savia and Naholo? Do we put Savia and Dag? Who do we put on the bench, a Barrett McKenzie or that third winger who misses out? So much to decide, but that's my starting 15. But I'll go over my team once more because I did talk off topic about that quite a bit. Okay, props, Franks and Moody, done. Coles bracketed with Taylor. Wylock and Retallick in the second row. The back row will be Kaino, Kane and Reed. My scrum half will be Aaron Smith. Fly half will be Barrett. Centers will be Crotty and Fikatoa bracketed with Sonny Bill Williams. Then my outside backs will be Julian Savia on the left, Israel Dag bracketed with Naholo on the right, and Ben Smith at fullback. That's the team. That's my starting All Black team and my 33-man squad for the Lions Tour, which kicks off this weekend. Boy, oh boy. Cannot wait. Exciting stuff. What is your All Black squad? Who are your starting 15 players? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to join our Super Brew Picks League, which is open now for the Lions Tour. So get involved in that and sign up 
for your place in there today links in the description as always thank you for joining me here today let me know your thoughts on my team who you'd have there in place of other players and all that sort of stuff but until next time for plenty more lions coverage at your home of the lions tour 2017 that is my time for today until then take care